Hey hackers, Blue Cosma from CCS here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the 3K special. Um, unfortunately, I have been moving. You guys can see how lame my room looks now. There's no posters, um, dominoes gone, the pops are gone. You should see my floor and my, like everything just sad in here. It's like, there's probably more of an echo or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Sag, um, I'm also entering uh, college. I am entering one of the service academies and I'll be majoring in cybersecurity operations. Um, so that will kind of be a weird play on the channel. Um, um, we still obviously have the other creators coming on here as well, but um, at least within my role, right? Uh, also, Cosmodium is a company outside of the YouTube channel where we have courses, blogs, merch, stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely check all that stuff out, but that's also going to be kind of playing the weird part as I enter my college days. Because of all this change and stuff, I actually wasn't able to sit down in the hot tub and uh, answer you guys' questions, but I'm going to try to answer them here in the best way I can, so I do apologize for that. Um, but Funky Monk asked the first question and he said, uh, hey, my question, could you please not do the hot tub stream? Hey hackers, it's Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I'm in my bathroom, so I'm sorry if the audio is just like really bad. Yeah, this is what this channel has come to, me sitting on the floor of a tub. I can't even fill it with water because your boy's hella busy, but um, I guess I have my questions on my phone right here, so I'll just go ahead and go through them. Um, so, Spiritual Goose says, favorite piece of pen testing hardware, easily has to go to the USB rubber ducky. I love that thing. That thing is... is an incredible piece of hardware it's honestly just um the way it's so covert the way it looks twin deck all of it i've made the most payloads for it out of any of the tools um most people would think it's like the bash bunny um bash bunny is awesome it's just a little bit bigger package and it doesn't look um nearly as inconspicuous if i should say so uh, that's kind of one of the main reasons there also it's the omg cable i simply just don't own it um so i don't want to say it's my favorite if i don't own it but I'm sure if I did own it, then it would totally be like my favorite. What new space are you thinking about diving into? Recently, um, well, for those of you who don't know, my main space is a lot of like malware and programming oriented hacking. Um, I've been recently getting into a lot of binary exploitation. It's been really cool to learn shots, a lot of overflow. Um, I'm learning a lot of my stuff from his videos and his stuff. So definitely check them out. It's a lot. pretty cool, pretty cool. Have you done any black hat stuff before, like selling your malware or spreading it? Um, I wouldn't like to say black hat because it's kind of perceived as very like malicious and malintended, but definitely like gray hat area stuff in the past um, on how much I can share on YouTube. But um, I have gotten uh, here and there in trouble uh, <laughs> uh, with my uh, hacking background. Um, but nothing like malicious or anything like that, just usually cracking things like uh, handshakes or smaller stuff like that. Um, but you feel free to hit me up on Discord, you can hear more full stories that are more uh, YouTube, or I guess not as YouTube friendly. <laughs> How did I get into cybersecurity? Yeah, so when I was in middle school, um, one of my, or I saw a video off of the, um, actually I do have a video entirely about how my entire hacking background, so I'll leave that in the description or the tags or something. Um, but me, or how I got to hacking was through um, a Discord server, basically. Um, I wanted to learn how to program because I saw a video off of the Rust programming language. And um, at the time, this was like early before Rust was even popular. You know, Rust was super popular and I was even popular at the time. Um, but it looked cool. It just looked a little too complicated for me. Uh, I'm sure I could have learned it easily, but I wasn't really uh, trying. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I joined this Discord server and I asked them like, hey, how do I get into hacking? How do I, or sorry, how do I get into programming? Um, like what, it, are there any modern languages I should learn? And they all were like, not all of them, but they, uh, was, this guy decided to prank me a little bit. And he said uh, to learn things like Visual Basic Script or D Batch which are these like older languages and i know he pranked me for older languages because i specifically asked to learn modern languages uh, i don't know i'm sure he was just joking but i ended up learning things like visual basic script and batch thinking they were modern languages they weren't um but as i learned them i did research on like what they're used for especially visual basic script i saw malware 
as a common occurrence. So I was like, oh, malware sounds cool. <laughs> so that's how I kind of fell into the whole loophole of and rabbit hole of malware and things like that. And again, it just escalated up towards what um, now is, you know, cybersecurity, education, all that. No question, you're the best. Hey, appreciate it. Um, what, tuber, what YouTuber would you start beef with? <laughs> um, I've jokingly like made fun of other, like, uh, I think I've jokingly made fun of Noah Chuck before. Uh, obviously, he's an amazing creator. Love his content. Super funny. Um, uh, I would probably start with him because it's just a funny thing to do. But um, outside of the realm of jokes, all the creators on this platform are really good. They have great content. I've used their content personally to learn and teach myself. Um, it's a new topic, so yeah, definitely check you know, a lot of these other creators out as well. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, 10 years um, is going to be kind of an interesting topic. 10 years, I would like to see Cosmodium at a more, not corporate level, but outside of the smaller business into a more uh, continuous business. For those of you who don't know, Cosmodium is a cybersecurity business as well as a YouTube channel. There is a registered LLC attached to it. We have courses and merch and all this other stuff, but I would like to kind of expand it out of the level it is now, kind of get it to a more stable win, uh, like cooler level of where it could be. What's the meaning of life? Uh, to have fun, have fun and appreciate what you have. I think that's what it is. I always, everything I've done on the channel was strictly for fun. Um, I do everything here at Cosmodium for fun. I just love doing it. Um, making content is so much fun. Live streaming with you guys, I absolutely love it. Um, so that's always been my motivation to do any of this, is just to have fun with you guys. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's enough. <laughs> Favorite projects that behind the scenes? Yeah, my favorite behind the scenes project, I probably have two. Um, so fun fact, I do a lot more dangerous stuff on Discord than I do on YouTube because YouTube has a more stern TOS. Um, but I do a lot of crazy stuff in Discord. So join the Discord, I've always told you guys, join the Discord. Um, you'll always catch, not always, but a lot of the time you'll catch me in the voice calls and the voice chats, um, making malware and projects and all this other cool stuff outside of the YouTube friendly only rat, right? Um, I think the, some of the cooler projects I made, probably two, one was Satux, it's this Linux malware. Um, I think someone actually made a payload similar to it, um, but I was working on this for a little bit, but it's basically like a uh, Linux malware that rewrites the sudo alias to steal the sudo password and it'll send it to you through Discord webhooks. Um, you can use um, the payload that gets the sudo and execute code as the root user it's pretty cool um the other one is this rat that i was building um i built i think two rats <laughs> um that I haven't publicly shown one was uh, record and one was rossi i might rename rossi to six nine because it'd be a funny thing to name a rat um, but they're two very powerful rats they work over the internet so they don't need any port forwarding or anything like that um but yeah you'll catch me in discord making a lot of cool malware Doja Cat, my wife said, Daddy, question mark, definitely. And I got a, what's your social security number? <laughs> it's uh, subscribe, and that's what it is. I'm trying my best to go to DEF CON as well. I'm, that's a pretty often question, or pr properly asked question. I am trying, if I can go, I'll only show up for the weekend. Uh, but no, jokes aside, I appreciate you guys, love, love you guys, thank you so much for 3K. Cosmodium's changing, you know, it's, I'm changing. I was, I'm only eight, I only turned 18 not too long ago. Um, and uh, yeah, so I uh, love you guys and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching these past two years. And you know, um, hopefully, we can continue to grow the channel and grow stuff even with my uh, different schedule. Again, sorry for the shitty audio, <laughs> uh, but yeah, love you guys. Oh, yeah, and uh, stay happy, stay positive, and as always. Happy hacking. Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. Um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this, check out the link in the description. It's only $1, so we definitely appreciate your guys' support. Um, anyway, enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking.